welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Marilyn and if you're not new welcome back so anyways today I'm going to be showing you guys an update on my panda palette and if you guys saw my intro I am using the elf matte for matte and it's this one right here I pretty much just have to hit pan online shadows because one of them already hit pan last year and it's this white one right there so this palette I've used it 26 times in the month of January I feel like I've made a lot of progress especially in this purple as you can see there's a nice dip going on right there and I've also made a nice little dip on the orange but it's not as noticeable as the purple so I'm super happy about that you could also see movement in the green and the blue well it has like a little dip but I'm hoping to hit pan on this one by the end of February hopefully and I know last month I said that I didn't really like this palette because it was kind of boring but I actually really really like it. I feel like I just didn't really like it because of the browns and stuff but I don't know I just really really like this. My favorites are the orange, purple, and the green and I'm actually wearing the orange one right next to the yellow and I'm wearing this pink one next to the orange and then this burgundy one in my outer V. And then on my lower lash line on the outer part I am using the purple Anyways, I really really like this eyeshadow palette. It's super pigmented and it does last all day. It doesn't crease or anything and yep. Yeah. So the first shadow that I was actually trying to hit pan on first was this mustard yellow. But I think I only used it like twice or three times because it doesn't look yellow when I apply it on my eyes. It actually looks kind of brown, which is kind of weird. Here, I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. And it's not that pigmented either. But anyways, it's right there. It doesn't look too yellow. I mean, in camera it does, of course it will. But when I apply it on my eyes, it kind of looks brown, so I don't know. So I'm going to have to figure out how to use that shadow on my eyes because I tried to put that yellow on my crease and then the orange, but it just didn't look good. It looked really ugly, so yeah. I was trying to take pictures of the looks that I created with this palette, and I think I only took two or three, but I'll include them right here. And I didn't only use this palette, I also used the 80s Baby palette and, and the Butter London palette. So I'll include a picture right here. But anyways, I'm actually really happy with this palette, super pretty. I actually tried to write down like all the colors and how many times I use them. Oh, I'll include a picture right here so you guys can see the difference. I forgot to tell you guys. <laughs> okay, so the white one I have used 22 times. The mustard I've only used three times. The orange I have used seven times. The brown, zero. The burgundy, five times. The pink I have used six times. The purple I have used 12 times. The blue I have used four times. The green I have used six times, the black zero times. So yeah, that's that. Hopefully you guys could see the difference. I tried my best but I didn't hit pan so that's okay. Hopefully I could hit pan on at least one shade by the end of next month. So anyways, that is all for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.